I honestly think Minneapolis is uh, underrated. We need to speak out there more and announce that the city has a lot to offer. Uh, the first time I, I visited, I was uh, surprised. And uh, speaking with Ralph Burnett and his, um, his uh, tie-in with the art community, I was very, very intrigued by it. And uh, speaking with some people uh, in Philadelphia, they were actually filling in the blanks for me. You know, the art, you know, the culture, you, we, have, we have everything here on a smaller scale, but whatever any major city has to offer, we have here too. So why not the W? So guests will come in through here. The whole idea here is to kind of bring you back so you enter the world of W, which would be the welcome desk way to the back so you kind of get the feeling as you walk past the living room um, and down the old arcade which has the original storefronts still intact um, so now you can enter in into the little living room and the lounge seating and this is the living room and the action bar pardon the mess out they're still kind of installing them and you can see the furniture is just amazing it's all kind of this custom designed um, with the corset kind of keeping with the 20s theme, background. It's nice that it's a lot of light on the street, you know, you really get a feel for the streetscape. And you can see the um, curves in the wall there that kind of mirrors up to the marble, the original marble work, um, and how they, you know, they were able to take those traditional or the historical aspects and reinterpret them. When you look at it, you would think that it's all um, welded together, but it's one solid piece oh. that they laser cut. And you'll cool. see this throughout the hotel. Here you can see the curves on this. Mm -hmm. Kind of take their inspiration from the original marble. And then these are the ceilings here that were restored. Here it had been all drywalled over and they didn't realize it was there. And then they uncovered it and found, you know, the fabulous ceiling and decided, you know, let's restore it to what it was. And they um, hired specialists that went back because all the old photographs, of course, were black and white, so they couldn't really find out what the exact color was and they were able to match the original colors. And this is actually interesting. This is going to be a speakeasy. Stand here and you wouldn't really think anything's here, but as you push through, if it opens, it opens on into a private dining space here that people will be able to have intimate dinners. This is the museum space um, that has kind of all the old artifacts on the Fauché. This was the march um, by John Philip Sousa that he commissioned for the grand opening party, um, and it was played at the party. This is Prohibition, which was Wilbur Fauché's old offices and suite. And so we'll have a bar up here. Um, got a nice little bed here wow. for people to Pretty relax sexy. in and get up to no good. <laughs> this was the boardroom in here. Boardroom. And the, wi the windows are original. This was a staircase that was actually hidden away that the previous owners didn't know it was here, so when they uncovered it, they were amazed. This is the only observation deck in Minneapolis. If you want to step on outside. So this is the 31st floor. So you can imagine in its time, this was the tallest building. You could probably see. They are the originals. They've been restored, and they're fully working, so you can... Well, you don't have to pay for them. No, they're free. Honey, I don't feel like I'm in Minneapolis. No. 
It's very um very much like the Empire State Building, just yeah. 